Welcome to another J Crazy News Headlines on a special Sunday to those who are watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers. In previous videos, I told you that, even yesterday, that is a minority of criminals are creating a major increase of bloodshed and crime in parishes such as St. James. Now, this Roehampton disaster, when it comes down to five five members being killed last week, within a week, yes, within a week, is all stemming from one war. And that war is what's happening in Mount Salem. So, the war is going on in Mount Salem between Brokan versus Papi has spread like a wildfire and has spread to the Roehampton era and sad to say this war will continue unless you know unless the security forces intervene in a very strong way and when I say strong way they eliminate broken puppy and other criminal elements who are warring each other see there now five men from one family has been executed by criminal elements from Mount Salem, warring factions. And it's sad, yes, but you can expect more persons to die in the Roehampton era. These warring factions are going all out to exterminate each other and also find members of rivals. So this war is big, it has spread like wildfire all over St. James. Living from Mount Salem to Roehampton to different eras. So this war has many players in it. And this is stemming from, you know, lottery scamming. All these criminal elements were once friends and now them turn enemies. So they are split when it comes down to friends turning enemies. So the JCF and the JDF, you have a lot of work to be done. And the only way you know this war stop is if you get rid of the major players. Now this are just words of advice to law enforcement, which include the JCF and the JDF and other special police divisions or branches. Please do not wait until criminals commit 10 murders, 5 murders, 4 murders, 3 murders, 2 murders before you list them as wanted. Once they commit a murder, you place them on the wanted list, you go after them and you hunt them. Please do not allow criminals free reign to go about and commit more than 1 murders and add people to their list of victims. Again, it's an advice to the JCF and the JDF. Please do not sit by and be so relaxed and wait until criminals like Zadu and Brokhan commit more than one murders before you go after them. Once they commit a murder, you go after them aggressively before they add more victims to their list. Now we head towards St. Anne, where all this man around 12.15 a.m., a man who is known as Odin Hall, a.k.a. Ratti, was killed at a bar in Mansfield Heights in St. Anne, Jamaica. Now based on information, Odin Hall, a.k.a. Ratti, who is from Rakabesa in St. Mary, was at the bar around 12.15 a.m. when two armed men came to the bar and pulled two firearms. Those gunmen fired several shots hitting Ratti all over the body before escaping. Now the police were caught to the scene and on arrival, Ratti was found lying in a pool of blood. He was taken to the hospital 
where he was pronounced dead on arrival. Now so far there's no motive as to why he was killed. Now one residents told the news that she heard over 20 shots being fired in that direction. The residents are worried about the overflowing of violence in the resort town. And you know Sentan was not like this. But because the increase of lottery scamming and gang violence and men who are from different parishes coming to Ochira Saint Anne to live and to cause havoc, it have stirred the crime rate to go up in the parish of Saint Anne. Now we head towards Linstead St. Catherine, where crime and violence is plaguing that era of St. Catherine. Now yesterday, a businessman who is known as Mr. White, who owns a popular pharmacy and the Juicy Beef Plaza in the town of Linstead, was shot by two armed men. Now, Mr. White received gunshot wounds to his chest two times, my viewers before those criminal elements escaped. Currently, he's in hospital in critical condition. However, his condition at the moment is uncertain. Now, family and friends and relatives are sending their prayers towards Mr. White. Now, Mr. White is a man who is known to be very humble and loved by many persons in the town of Linstead. And this attack on Mr. White is shocking to individuals they don't know where this is coming from and they are very surprised that this happened to him but they are praying and still hoping that he pulls through now we head towards frankfield clarendon where the area is still tense following the triple killing of three men in the community on friday night around nine 45 p.m. Now based on information, three men were at a shop having a drink chilling when gunmen pull up at exactly 9.45 p.m. in an SUV. Heavily armed gunmen to be exact. Now those gunmen pull their weapons and start spraying a barrage of bullets. Now those gunmen went back into the SUV and sped off. After the smoke was clear and those gunmen escaped, three men were found suffering from gunshot wounds all over the body. Now their names were Shopkeeper Cecil Ricketts, also Kelvin Anderson and Delroy Facey. All three succumbed to their injuries on spot. These two pictures are pictures of two of the victims were murdered in Frankfurt Clarendon. Now to my viewers and my subscribers. Now this killing is very puzzling and the police are scratching their head. Our residents of Frankfurt are left wondering what took place. Now these three men are considered very hard working. They do farming to be exact and other meaningful gains of employment so residents are wondering why these three men who are well loved in the community were murdered is it an act of extortion where criminals tried to extort Cecil Ricketts who is a shopkeeper his business and he refused to do so or comply to those criminals or is it the case, as Jamaicans say, can't catch Kwako, will catch him shirt. No, I'm appealing to persons out there who have any concrete information on why these three men were targeted and murdered on Friday night. You can give your information to the police in Maypen, but if you don't feel safe and giving your information to the police, you can always come to my Instagram page and DM me and give me that information and your identity will be unknown. No one will know who you are 
not even the police. Now we head towards Brighton in Westmoreland, where yesterday, early yesterday, a young man, you said this right now, who is known as Yu Chang, was shot and killed by a lone gunman while at a shop establishment. Now, based on information, at this time, very sketchy, but Yu Chan was at that establishment when a lone gunman came to the scene and spotted him and fired several shots, hitting him on the spot. Now, the police was called to the scene. On arrival, they saw Yu Chang lying in a pool of blood. The police are investigating, but so far, there's no motive as to why Yu Chang was attacked and shot and killed by a lone gunman. The police are investigating. This is Jay Craig News once again. Until then, have a blessed and safe Sunday. Yeah man, I'm here as a black legend. I'm here represent for Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe, and share out the thing. Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. Jay Crazy not play when him a review the thing them. Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. Jay Crazy not play when him a review the thing them. Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy